spouse is more of this category or themselves are. So an example like who is the messy one? Oh. Oh. God, wow. oh. I've known Leslie for about 10 years now, since she joined my adult kickball league. <laughs> Sometimes you meet someone and you just click, and that's what happened with us. Uh, we were like-minded, shared lots of interests, and just had far more fun together than anyone should be allowed to. <laughs> uh, and I'm so beyond lucky that that fun friendship grew into a true best friendship. I love her more than just about anyone in the world. Um, Sorry, Stephen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> but uh, back to Leslie. Today, in fact, is our official friend anniversary, uh, from when we really truly connected and pretty much became inseparable. But I'm more than happy to share this day with what will forever now be her wedding anniversary. With Speaking of Conrad, now I haven't known him as long as Leslie, but I already love him too. I remember when they first met, I could just tell it was different for Leslie. You could see how much he loved her right away. And I honestly don't know if I've ever met anyone so genuinely kind and good and happy. I was worried that might make Leslie go slightly crazy, but luckily <laughs> she saw what an amazing man and cat she is. Their love for each other is so beautiful. Their shared love of music, singing, dancing, so incredible to behold. They're both so incredibly talented. If you've never heard either of them sing or seen them dance, you are honestly missing out. And also in luck, as this will be rectified today. <laughs> but more than that, I truly see them falling more and more in love every time I see them. We should all be so lucky to find that kind of love in our lives. And what is love? I'm sure we all have our own interpretation. I vow that I will always be open and vulnerable with you. I vow that I will gladly stand up for you whenever you need it. I vow to make it so that you never have to guess that I love you. Mm. I vow to make you know that you'll never be alone. I vow to protect your little bunny. <laughs> and I, and to make you feel like you never have to fight to be on top of the hill. I vow that someday, once, I'll remember to close a cabinet that I opened. <laughs> and I vow to daily remember to celebrate the holy, unique, brilliant, passionate woman that you are. I love you more than anything.
My decision to marry you is not just about love. I love you so much that sometimes I feel like I'm bursting with it. Well, literally anything. <laughs> I like you. Your joy is absolutely infectious. I vow to never take for granted your one-of-a-kind joie de vivre, your delicious <laughs> cooking, and the beautiful music you make in our home. Sometime in the first couple months of our relationship, I said to you, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you. And you said, of course you're going to disappoint me. And I'm going to disappoint you. And I knew right then that this relationship was going to be different. That we were going to keep each other grounded in reality, in all the messy complexity of life, and help each other through it. I vow to remember that we will often disappoint each other and that that is an inevitable part of sharing a life with someone. I vow to always try to see who you actually are. Rounds. Mine is a crisp, clear, straight line. <laughs> I vow to remember it is not reasonable to expect your mind to work like mine and mine to work like yours. But I will allow my straight line to learn to curve and to encourage your clouds to clear on occasion so that we might one day learn to speak each other's language fluently. I vow to continue to grow, and I vow to always remember that you will grow too. I am marrying you today as you are, but I won't expect you to stay the same. I am committed to every version of you and to work through all the inevitable differences that arise. I vow to show you every day what you mean to me. Sometimes I can't believe we only get to have one lifetime together. It just doesn't feel like enough time. Mm -hmm. But I vow to make the most of every moment. I love you, Conrad. Wow. Do you, Conrad, take Leslie to be your wife, to live together, to love her and honor her, to comfort her in sickness and in health, and to demonstrate your commitment to her through love, laughter, compassion, and song. If so, say, I do. <laughs> do you, Leslie, take Conrad to be your husband, to live together, to love him and honor him, to comfort him in sickness and in health, and to demonstrate your commitment to him through love, laughter, compassion, and song. If so, say, I do. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, you guys are Mormon married now. Okay. <laughs> Who has the ring? I just got married. <laughs> As a ring never ends, so may your love be never ending. Conrad, please put the ring on Leslie's finger and repeat after me. Leslie, I give you this ring. Leslie, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a sign that I have chosen you above all others. As a sign that I have chosen you above all others. She had a lot of ice cream in it. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, put the ring on Conrad's finger and repeat after me. Conrad, I give you this ring. Conrad, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a sign that I have chosen you above all others. And as a sign that I have chosen you above all others. And with that, by the power vested in me, it is my absolute honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. We will conclude this ceremony with the traditional breaking of the glass. As this glass shatters, May your marriage forever be strengthened. Okay.
As they both break this glass, I invite everyone to shout Mazel Tov. Conrad, you may stomp and then kiss your bride. something girl are you happy in this modern world or do you need more is there something in the shadow shallow far from the shallow relationships go through all kinds of storms and it, you get through it and so we want to invite while we sing this song um, our parents both sets of our parents to dance together and anyone else who has a long-standing relationship or any relationship you just want to celebrate uh, please go out in the center and dance while we sing Quite old. I'm like the wind that 
dictionary for a long time because he was four pounds when he was born um, and he was brilliant you know and so anyways everything Conrad has always done and pursued he's done with an incredible brilliance to it and of course as Joshua said I've also been dreaming of having siblings and their spouses but you get to an age where you're like, oh, we don't pick the spouses, and then you get real nervous. Because <laughs> you meet them, and you're like, oh, okay. And it happened a couple times, and like, so far, I'm checking all the boxes, and it's it's great. We did awkwardly fast, so we didn't get to say it to you for until it was like you would bring her. Uh, but you have been a very exciting part of our conversation for a long time. So welcome officially to <laughs> baby of the family. Yeah. Um, rumor is that I'm the favorite. <laughs> a lot to see. We have this like tradition. <laughs> we have this tradition when um, youthful lingers get married. Um, Wait, is it legal to do in the United no. States? <laughs> pull up a chair and um, kind of in the face of the new spouse. Welcome to the Youth of the Year! stories um, about um, yeah, you and Connor. Wait a second, are you the favorite sister? Uh, that's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, Conrad, I I love you so much. You were Simba, my Simba, mm -hmm. and I was your Nala. Um, and you know, I feel like we share so much in common. Um, and one thing I would say about you is that I love that you speak love through action and you're not someone who just uses your words. Um, and I wouldn't be at this wedding today if it were you <laughs> flying in my way across the world. Um, and there's just like so many sweet things about you and you're so intelligent and you're so smart. And I remember one conversation we had when we were in Holland and I don't know if you guys have ever experienced a sibling suffering, but it was um, super hard. And I remember for about two years I prayed, and I said, God, can you bring him someone who loves him? Can you bring him someone who's smart like him? Because she's got to be smart, otherwise she won't keep up. <laughs> God, can you bring him someone that he can do what he loves with? Because he loves music, and he loves dance. And then... I'm in Leslie's house, and I'm like, Leslie likes sociology? <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she was a poli-sci major, she loves musical theater, and she loves my brother. And I just am overjoyed to see my brother so happy, and I've been believing this for so long. And so, um, and one th another memory I wanted to share, again, talking about the love in action, one, my brother getting me here, which is incredible, um, but two, I remember one time we were on one of our phone calls, you know, talking two hours about sociology. He got me through that class, by the way, better than my lecturer, <laughs> you take his job. Um, and I remember the phone just went quiet, and you were playing music, and 
I got to play with you. And you, you sang, and I sang with you, and we didn't really say anything, but I knew we were both saying we missed each other so much. And you're the only person I want to play music with. You're the only person I want to dance with when I think about anything creative. And so today, I don't play music in front of anyone. It's a very private thing, but I wanted to play a song for you uh, because you're the only one I want to play music with. And I'm so happy that your smart, loving, amazing wife is everything I could have asked and wanted for you.